everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in as you can see this beautiful winter wonderland here doesn't allow for proper metal detecting the soil is rock hard frozen but fortunately i filmed a video end of october which i wasn't able to edit as yet due to lack of time now i managed to do so and i hope you will enjoy the video i made some very nice finds I also wanted to take the opportunity to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And if you could grant me three wishes, I would be very glad. The first one would be to like the video. The second would be to subscribe if you haven't already. And the third would be to ring the bell. Thank you very much. And now, please enjoy the video. interesting signal here very loud and in the 80s it could be a bottle cap but it could be a large uh, bronze object as well we will find out Quite deep. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's a massive <laughs> musket ball. Wow, it's a foreign coin, yeah, 1978, okay, uh, and Cyrillic writing, uh, Yugoslavia, okay, it's, uh, it's a coin from Yugoslavia, <laughs> but it r looks amazing, it's a beautiful coin, wouldn't you agree? I mean, the design is nice and it's obviously a good material, uh, it's in quite good nick still. Yeah, I really <laughs> yeah, enjoy this find, uh, even though it's not old, but uh, I like finding foreign coins. Oh, nice, another coin. 
Yeah, I know. Um, this is 10 uh, Fennig from the German imperial time, uh, 1871 to um, yeah, 1918, I would say. Uh, I will find out. Um, yeah, beautiful old coin. <laughs> the second one today. But uh, as you know, I'm aiming for all the coins here. Oh wow guys, oh now we are talking, oh <laughs> amazing, <laughs> yeah this is uh, a half of um, a Roman Zeliqua, a late Roman silver coin, oh my gosh these are so rare and uh, yeah historically valuable. Uh, unfortunately, they are made of a very brittle silver alloy. Uh, they they break like cookies. And uh, imagine the plow or the rototiller um, yeah, going over this field here. Uh, they destroy them. I keep finding a lot of fragments. It's it's a pity, you know. Uh, on the one hand, the plow brings uh, these finds up. Uh, but on the other hand, they <laughs> yeah, get destroyed by it um, quite often. Um, yeah, I will try to find out uh, which emperor it is. Um, shouldn't be hard because uh, it's uh, the back head of um, uh, the emperor where uh, his name should uh, be written. Um, yeah, but um, we will see. I mean, if I'm not able to do it, maybe some Roman experts of my <laughs> viewers can help me out. Uh, we will see. But yeah, I'm very pleased with this find, even though it's a fragment. Oh guys, <laughs> you have to see this, come closer. It's a hammered coin right on the surface. <laughs> Would you believe it? Oh, isn't that amazing? Oh, yeah, unfortunately it's a fragmented rototiller or plow. Yeah, a pity, but <laughs> I even recognize what kind of coin it is. And uh, yeah, that's not easy in Germany because um, we weren't uh, centralistically ruled. Um, 
like uh, France or England for a long time and uh, we had a lot of uh, principalities in Germany and uh, each principality minted its own uh, coins. Um, yeah, this one is um, a so-called Kölner Pfennig, um, a Pfennig from Cologne. Um, and I know it because I found one of these before on my gold field. Beautiful coins. Uh, you can see the dome uh, on one side. Yeah, on the other side I forgot uh, uh, what is uh, depicted there. Uh, but um, yeah, a fascinating find and it's, uh, it's very old. Uh, it's from the 1300s. Um, yeah. Uh, medieval times and these coins are quite rare uh, you can find out when you google it uh, Kölner Pfennig uh, you will see uh, what uh, they bring on auctions um, I don't care about the price of these coins it's just an indicator of uh, how rare they are of course um, but uh, if you follow my channel you will know that I have an agreement with uh, uh, my farmers that uh, we hand in all substantial finds uh, to the Department of Archaeology um, and uh, of course I will do it with this coin as well. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this find and uh, it's so amazing. It's always amazing to find uh, coins or other objects uh, right on the surface uh, for all of you who don't know how this can happen with a coin that uh, is hundreds of years old um, imagine the plow mixing up uh, the soil bringing up uh, finds from depth and uh, we had a lot of rain lately and if these come to the surface and they are maybe in a clod of earth um, yeah the rain will wash it out and you find them literally like uh, dropped yesterday uh, yeah, it's uh, always amazing. Uh, I love that about um, yeah uh, fields, you know, you, that wouldn't happen to you in woodland or on pasture, but uh, on yeah plowed fields, yeah, it's possible. Yeah, great, great. Um, I think you understand why I call this field my dream field. Yeah, guys, it's the next silver, would you believe it? And uh, it should be a Kreuzer, um, according to the size of the coin. Um, I reckon it should be from the 17, early 1800s, maybe. Um, yeah, we will see. It's too mucky to say anything about it at, at the moment, and I... I won't uh, rub it here or try to clean it. Um, yeah, but uh, it's a lovely uh, little silver coin and uh, yeah, the third one <laughs> today. Um, amazing. Yeah, you, you have to love this field. I mean, Nice little rivet. Huh. Yeah, this is old. Huh, interesting. Yeah, this field has everything to offer. <laughs> All epochs. Uh, and this 
area is not as trashy as the area where most Roman finds appear. This area is very naily and uh, iron infested as you can imagine. the next uh, Siliqua fragment. Oh, amazing. First I thought it's uh, some uh, yeah, copper fragment. I keep finding these uh, shredded uh, cartridges here. Uh, mostly uh, caliber 50 uh, from uh, yeah, board ammunition. Uh, we had a lot of um, air battles of course here uh, in the second world war and um, yeah, for a moment it looked like that but you can see i hope you can see the emperor's head and silver shine in places it's a fragment yeah it's it's uh, very damaged <laughs> it's uh, the middle section of the coin the edges are completely gone uh, you can imagine how fragmented they are on this field. I mean, uh, they literally um, turn to dust uh, <laughs> after um, yeah some decades. I don't know what to say anymore. Uh, I mean, this is just uh, overwhelming. Um, yeah, it's a very thin coin. Uh, it's amazing how thin they. Uh, were minted some of them uh, yeah sorry guys I don't know what to say anymore it's just uh, overwhelming <laughs> guys <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say um, I'm really pleased with this day um, two Roman silver coin a medieval coin yeah late medieval or maybe baroque coin um, you will know already <laughs> I have to wait until I'm home um, yeah and uh, other great relics I enjoyed this day really and I can't wait to return here. Um, the field should be accessible for uh, quite some time. Um, yeah, so if the <laughs> weather plays ball, um, yeah, I can return here and uh, detect patches uh, that I have um, left out so far. Um, yeah, I think there is uh, much more to find here i think you will agree and i can't wait to return here yeah i hope you will join me on my next trip uh, here too by then i wish you good luck and happy hunting bye bye adios und auf wiedersehen
פסל עקווה, מחו לי את האדמה, פסל עקווה, ונטבו זמוה, פסל עקווה, מחו לי את האדמה, פסל עקווה, ונטבו זמוה, חומן עיני הנהום ואשל, חומן עיני הנהום ואשל, טרס חוזת תספוי כולי, מחו לי עולת האדמה, פסל עקווה, ונטבו זמוה.